What up guys, Zertrix Effects here, and you're watching another one of my Titanfall gameplays. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been really getting into this game lately. Uh, when it first came out, when I first got it, I mean, I've liked it since it came out. I played it every now and then, I had a lot of fun on it. But ever since one of my friends got it, uh, it just got so much more exciting to play. So much more uh, intense uh, to have a little teamwork going on. Uh, also, I learned so much more about it since when like, I started playing in the beginning till now. Uh, about all the burn cards, the just the weapons, uh, everything that you could do, the little uh, just like things like I just dropped that shield, just all kinds of little stuff like that, just made the game a whole lot more fun and uh, addictive. Uh, it's just I don't know. This game overall uh, came out to be really amazing compared to what I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it was when I first got it. I thought it was a really basic type of game not too much going on besides the same stuff like every game really repetitive but it's actually one of the least repetitive games if you're constantly uh, working on uh, unlocking stuff uh, increasing level uh, saving burn card credits so you can buy more burn cards using burn cards uh, trying to get other burn cards completing challenges there's so much stuff that makes the game really fun uh, it's just overall a really amazing game, but I have a few things to talk about. One of the main topics of this video uh, would be Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, the The multiplayer reveal came out for it yesterday. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it looked really, really good in my opinion. I mean, there's no complaints about it. It looks really amazing. It looks like it's gonna be a really fun game to play, and I'm really psyched to play it. But, however, it just doesn't look like Call of Duty anymore. Uh, it does not, not one part about the game really reminds me of like Call of Duty itself. So I don't know. It, it kind of looks like a whole new game, uh, sort of like Titanfall. Uh, Titanfall is like a whole new game. It's non-comparable to Call of Duty because it's really not like Call of Duty at all. It's more like uh, what's that game? Uh, I forget the name of the game. There's a game that's just like this, um, sort of like Titanfall. Titanfall is a lot better though, but I forget the name of it, but however, you know what I mean, it's just, it, this game is its own type of game, uh, it's not really comparable to much other games, and that's the way this game looks, it looks like one of a kind, it sort of looks like a mixture though of like Halo, Titanfall, and Call of Duty all mixed together, but the least part that I, I see in it is Call of Duty, I mean I see less Call of Duty in that game than anything else. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on. You got the, the little flying th maneuver you can do that looks like Titanfall, but it's a little bit quicker, and I think you actually have a little bit more um, range than you do in this game uh, with the flying and stuff like that from what I see in the multiplayer reveal. Uh, one more complaint. I mean, I, in the beginning of this video, I said I don't have any complaints about it. So they're not really complaints, concerns, I would say. One more concern would be the weapons. Um, when I see in the game, the multiplayer reveal trailer I've seen like four different one-shot kill weapons meaning they took one shot and killed the enemy and that's online that's multiplayer <clears throat> so think about all the times that we are gonna rage over getting shot one time and getting killed it's gonna be pretty pretty hard to cope with when you're getting shot by a pistol in midair and getting dropped by it with one shot um, so I, I, I did see a pistol in there I really did see a pistol in that multiplayer reveal. One shot kill a, like, a, a person several times in that uh, reveal. So there, there's going to be little frustrating things like that. That's always been my most frustrating concern with Call of Duty. Overpowered weapons. Uh, in Modern Warfare 2, it was always the Rangers. I hated when people used the Rangers and the Spaz. It was ridiculous. And for assault rifles, I would say the SCAR or the TAR-21. There's always just really ridiculously overpowered guns. Every game has that, but this game looks more so than ever with the overpowered guns. Um, I'd say Black Ops 2's overpowered gun. Hmm. Let's see, what would Black Ops... I don't know, Black Ops 2, I don't really have any complaints about the game. It's been overall my one of, one of my favorite Call of Duties. Uh, and that's one thing I like about the Advanced Warfare. It really looks like Black Ops 2 in a way. Uh, it resembles Black Ops 2 over any Call of Duty. So that's one thing I like about it, because Black Ops 2 was like one of my favorite Call of Duties. Uh, but however, it, like I said, it does have a lot of traits to 
seem really similar to this game and to Halo. So that's one thing I don't like about it, because Call of Duty has always been its own game. Nothing could compare to it. Um, everybody that tried to compete with Call of Duty just completely failed at it. So that's one thing I always liked about them being one of a kind. Um, I mean, Advanced Warfare does look kind of uh, one of a kind. I mean, it sort of looks like its own type of game, but at the same time, it's like a like a mashup of a few other games, which is one thing I don't like. Um, which I don't, I don't know. I just when I play Call of Duty, I like gun on gun action. I like to see gun skill rather than kill streak skill, and rather than like advanced stuff uh, as of like you being a higher level so you have some crazy ass weapons compared to the low level person and Call of Duty has always been pretty good for evening that out uh, and giving everybody a chance uh, more with um, Black Ops 2 was it? yeah because you could unlock it Black Ops 2 was the first one with the token system I think where you could unlock weapons might have been MW3 but I think it was Black Ops 2 that was the first one where you could unlock stuff with like tokens you could be like level 5 and have a, a crap ton of different guns if you just unlock them with your tokens or whatever. So that's one of the games that, uh, that's one of the features I really like about Call of Duty is how it evens it out. And that game, uh, Advanced Warfare, like I said with the weapons, it just looks like chaos. When I seen the trailer, it just looked like chaos. People flying around everywhere. You gotta look up, you gotta look everywhere. I mean, it's gonna be fun in its own sense. It's gonna be a really fun game to play. But it's just not going to feel like Call of Duty anymore. And I've always liked Call of Duty for Call of Duty itself. Uh, and the fact that it was unlike any other game. So, I don't know. I mean, it, like I said about three times in this video, it's going to be fun either way. I'm going to get it either way. I'm going to enjoy it either way. But I'm just not going to feel the same with that, with that game anymore. They're changing the whole Call of Duty style with that game. It's like a whole other game now. They're changing it completely. So, I don't know, it's just going to be really weird. Um, but either way, I, I haven't pre-ordered it yet. So, I mean, it's still debatable whether I could get it or not. But, I'm going to end up getting it. I end up getting every Call of Duty. People judge Call of Duties a lot before they come out. Uh, some people don't even get a Call of Duty. Uh, just judging it from the, all the trailers and stuff like that. I do have a lot of friends that have done that. Uh, one of the big reasons that people say they're not getting a Call of Duty when it comes out or before it comes out is because they know they won't be able to afford it, they know they won't be able to buy it. So they just knock it off and say that they're not going to get it, that it's crap. But I've had a lot of friends that said that also just because they couldn't afford it. When they could afford it, then it turned into the best Call of Duty ever. So I'm not trying to mean to people that, that can't afford it, but I mean, I've been in their shoes too. I've been where I couldn't afford it. I didn't have a job. Uh, my parents didn't pay for games, so I didn't get certain games, and I would knock them off. My friends would be pre-ordering it, and I'd be like, oh, the game looks gay, I'm not getting it. But over time, I ended up getting it when I could afford it, and I did like it. So that's something that really does drag the name down on some games. People will just dissing it before it even comes out because they can't afford it. Uh, some people just judging it from the from the videos, from the um, from the reveals. So I'm not going to say anything bad about this game. I'm not going to say anything great about it because it's in the end up to when it comes out. It's also up to your personal opinion, your personal preference on the Call of Duty style. Some people stick with their old school Call of Duty. Some people still play World at War every day. Some people still play Call of Duty 4 every day. There's still people playing MW2 every day. There's people that stick with their own type of Call of Duty. So it's really like a personal preference on what type of Call of Duty you've always liked, really. Uh, me personally, I spread out through all of them, but my favorites are Black Ops 2, MW2, World at War. Um, but, I, like I said, everybody has their, their personal favorites. So there's going to be a lot of people that misjudge this game and say it's going to be horrible and it ends up turning out good. There's going to be a lot of people that have higher expectations for it, thinking it's going to be way better than it really will end up being. So it just all comes down to it whenever it comes out. So we'll just wait and see. Um, you'll be the judge. If you guys know anything else about the Advanced Warfare, please feel free to leave a comment. If you guys have any feedback about the game, if you want to... Uh, Leave your opinion about the game, how it's going to be, any predictions about it. Let me know. I'll leave the uh, the trailer, the reveal multiplayer trailer in the description so you guys can check that out. Or I'll just link it as annotation right now on the screen um, so you guys can check it out. But um, yeah guys, this game's about over so um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, leave your feedback. And um, 
yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I'll be bringing a little bit more Titanfall videos to you. So uh, until then, this has been Zertrix Effects, and I'm out, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.